Good morning. Good morning. This is vlog 519. Uh, it is the last day of 2016. I was sick yesterday. Kathy was sick yesterday, and uh, Bob's sick, so we're taking him soon. Right. But you feeling a little bit better today? I am. I better just run, run down from all the holiday partying. It, she parties like it was 1999, which is like, you know, many years ago. Or like 1910. Went up into town, we got to drop off some soup at Bob's, like Kathy said, and uh, and then do a few other things. What's Mommy doing? Dropping off the soup. Bob's not feeling good. It's been a big few days. It's been a uh, uh, quite a lot of partying, which I'm sure you guys have done quite a bit of. And a lot of uh, drinking and eating the wrong things and staying up late and doing all that stuff doesn't make for a good combination. But I feel pretty good today. Any sign of life up there? I tiptoed. <laughs> because if you're sick, you don't want to be disturbed. Yeah. But now I'll text him and disturb him. <laughs> what did you leave for him? Soup. What kind of soup? Lentil soup. Oh, what we had for dinner last night. Yep. It's really good. everything that we needed and some things we didn't necessarily need we did I did when New Year's comes we don't really do squat in fact go to bed early yeah we probably go to bed early you know New Year's is not one of those party uh, till you drop kind of things for us no, but Christmas was Christmas was <laughs> So. New Year's is going to be, um, you know, 8 o'clock, you know, hit, hit the, hit the hay like hay. like a ton of... What's the best thing about New Year's? Um, I think the best thing is you feel like you get a chance to make resolutions and get a fresh start for a whole year. Yeah, you could pretty much do that any day, you though, could, huh? Yeah. You could do it any time, but, but it's a good it's starting nice. point. 2017 feels like a nice, good round number. Did you know that 2017, I may be wrong, but probably not. 2017 is the date that the movie Blade Runner took place in. And there's still no flying cars. There's no replicants. Oh, really? Um, 2017. 2017. Sure wasn't 2020? No, because 2000, that's why the sequel's coming out. Oh. Anyway, more useless trivia. Let's go look at some cars. Not a lot of cars in town. There was a really cool blazer though we just saw. I mean, it was like flawless, at least on the outside. But well, we already determined that having five kids is kind of insane. They wouldn't fit in a blazer. No, they wouldn't. In a so, station wagon, they would. I mean, would. actually, he should have bought a school bus. Considering a couple of us, yes, you know, a couple of us had a propensity to be really sick. So you, you, you know, you'd have to move to another seat. We won't get into that. No. Station wagon. Disappointing. Was it, you? it wasn't me. No, it wasn't me. I never barfed in a car. I've never gotten car sick ever. No, but remember the time that Sean barfed in our in your little car? And then I went to get him out of the car really quick and he barfed into my cowboy boots. <laughs> What Malibu needs is lots and lots of water. What Southern California needs is lots of water, and we're getting a little bit of it. It's pretty rare that it rains, but when it does, it's really nice, it cleans everything up, and then the sunny days follow, so it should be a nice few days. No! Kathy's hiding on the couch because she's still not feeling that great. But I just got a package, an envelope actually, from China. Not from anybody that I recognize. I don't really know anybody in China. Well, what's their name? I don't have my glasses on, but I don't know who it is. But I already opened it up, but then I thought, I better vlog this. 
There's a little package in this. And I'm not too sure about this. It makes, it's kind of a little creepy. All right. I don't know, especially for you, there's no note. It's got a little flower. I'm not really sure what it is. Look at gloves. Oh my God. It's a, it's a present for Kathy that I forgot I ordered. I didn't know it was gonna come from China for you. I get the flower. All right, so now we look at this quite differently. It's not <laughs> scary anymore. Oops. I completely forgot I ordered it. It said something gold. I hope it's, I don't have to use the scissors. Oh, it's a starfish. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. And they're real fake diamonds. Only the best for me. They're not with my PJs. Nothing more frustrating for a car guy than for it to be raining out. You know, I mean, I, I said earlier, yeah, that I, I love rain, and I and I do, and, and Malibu needs it, and there's lots of really great things about rain. But, you know, when you go out, there's just, you know, nobody's driving any of their cool cars. It's like all silver, black, and white cars pretty much everywhere. But maybe it's time for a couple of stories. I, I, can, I can give you a couple of stories. But the first story Kathy alluded to about, uh, about Sean barfing in the car, and, and there's a little bit more to that story. And it kind of was that, you know, Back when we first met, I wasn't driving anything cool. I was driving something kind of crappy. It was a little Nissan Sentra. This is back in 19, I, I don't know, it's way back in the day. We went on a long drive. It was a really hot day and uh, Sean was in the back and Sean is now 29 going on 30, but he was about four. And he'd been sitting in the car, in the back of the car for the longest time and on this long drive. I think it may have been back from San Diego or something. I don't remember, but but we pulled into uh, where we were living at the time in Malibu and uh, 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 we folded the seat forward so that he could get out. And as I reached back to get him, he opened his eyes because he was sleeping and he kind of looked at me like he didn't really know where he was and then suddenly he spewed. Spewed on himself, he spewed on the seat, he could pretty much just spewed on everything. So uh, we, we kind of tried to grab him and not get spewed on and then, and then I did grab him and we pulled him out and he stood on the, on the sill of the door. Kathy was holding him and just as she held him, he spewed again and it went down the front of her and it went into her cowboy boots. It was about 100 degrees that day and Kathy and I spent the next hour or so cleaning the, the car out and, and it was it was a, it was an adventure. What can I say? It was an adventure. It was a, one of those, you know, barfing adventures. Certain memories you just don't forget. Certain, you know, really great memories like that you just don't forget. And, and you just want to be able to, uh, to share them, you know, with you guys. But the other story I had is probably the saddest story you'll ever hear. You know, especially for a car guy, you know. But when I was a kid, I was probably about seven or eight years old. I went to camp. I was really into cars. I loved cars and we had a family station wagon and, and uh, we had never had anything else other than the station wagon and my dad had another car. And my dad told me when he dropped me off at camp, I was up at a place called Jameson Ranch up at Bakersfield, that they were going to buy a new car and they were going to come and pick me up in that car. Now I was at camp for two weeks. So for two weeks I thought about this car. And that car was a 1973 Chevy Blazer in yellow. And that was the first time I had ever heard of such a car. It was a truck. This was exciting. This was really big news. I thought about it for two weeks. Did I mention that I thought about it for two weeks? Because I thought about it for two weeks. It was two weeks. Couldn't get my mind off of this car. I was so excited. So when they finally showed up, when they rolled down that dirt road to come and pick me up, they showed up in a spectacular station wagon. I stood there dumbfounded. And my dad got out of the car, didn't say a word, I think he forgot about the whole idea on the drive back home when he dropped me off originally. I've always loved that car, and I currently drive that car. It's not a 73, it's not a Blazer, but it's a 97 and it's a Tahoe. Pretty much the same thing. Love that car, it's the perfect Malibu car. But I was so sad that day. I thought I'd be really excited to see them. I had this incredible buildup, and then I crashed down in flames, like a ton of bricks, like a sack of potatoes, like, like, like sitting on a big pile of marshmallows. Crushed, squished, 
flattened. Okay, that's it for today's vlog. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys hanging out and listening to the Super Sad Story. I hope it didn't make anybody cry. Be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed because we want you to hang out with us. We got car stories. We got cool cars. We got epic amount of stuff coming to you this year. Vintage trailers to exotic cars to car shows to classics to everything. All the cool stuff happening right here on the vlog. And if you just happen to have a 1973, uh, you know, Chevy Blazer, let me know, because then we could go drive. It'd just be kind of cool. If it's yellow, even better. We'll see you guys later. Bye.